Welcome back gamers. So let's start our next mission. This was not an easy decision, but I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. Well, you know, we already talked you know, about that in last video, so I, I disagree with that, but you know. If there was some some kind of explanation why they need to destroy Shakuras, you know, I'm glad to hear it or read it, whatever. Uh, so this uh, last stand, it is uh, a defensive mission. It is similar to co-op mission that you have uh, of the Zelnaga Temple. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's face prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold, but we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Okay. I mean, even the Artanis... Artanis was the one with the Zeratul who overloaded the temple in the Brood War. And he, he even he doesn't, you know, address that. Our forces have secured the Zelnaga temple grounds. Artanis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now. But without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three zenith stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. The Nerazim have long used Kedera monoliths to protect our lands. I see your face myth has become familiar with them. Indeed, Matriarch. The monoliths are quite deadly and fire a considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. The moment has come. Let us begin. Okay. The sooner the Senate starts. Just hold on, Artanis. I need to say. off we shall be. The Zerg will overwhelm the temple grounds shortly. Agreed. Although, should it become necessary, my Dark Templar can sneak through the enemy and destroy the stones. So let's take our expansion guess. Shield battery here. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough. 
I know, I know, come on. Don't be. Can I take this? Well, I'll wait for a moment. No! Man, that's expensive. Man, I was reckless. Another brood of Zerg is preparing to attack from a hive to the northwest. Okay, let's just build our expansions and go defend there. Okay, I definitely want the Dark Shrine. Expansion. Artanis, our observers are reporting a vast number of Zerg have poured onto Shakuris. And yet, not a single hybrid. Amon is testing our resolve. Dark Templar are coming. We'll soon get get the full saturation on our bases. The Zerg approached the temple from the southeastern access way. Temporal fields on this one. Our pylon is under attack. Here and here. Our pylon is under attack. Even more gateways. Let's go finish one of our object side objectives. Actually, let's go defend first.
okay, that was great. Exercise caution when attacking a zenith stone. The energies within may become volatile as it is damaged. Okay, now we can wall off this section. Sure, let's do that. Curious. There are overlords closing on the temple grounds. I have seen this tactic before. They are transporting ground forces. Destroy the overlords quickly. Are they here? Yes. You must construct additional pylons. Saturation. Yes, we need more. Our readouts indicate there are nearly half a billion Zerg on Shakuris. All of them moving for this temple. Let them come. The Templar will endure. Sub objective. Well, the second that is, but we'll we'll soon finish the last one also. Let's save. Okay, we can go finish our side objective. This time for real.
destroyed. Once your task is complete, the temple can be overloaded. Understood. And the temple alignment is proceeding well. Now, we wait for the sun. Okay, I need more Kedarian monoliths here. Hyrak, I, I have never borne witness to so many Zerg. Was this the threat my mother once faced? No, Patriarch. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. Okay, I need some defenses here. Uh, let's put pylons. Actually, not like that. Starkers, let's build Dark Templars. I am here the Let's separate our units a little. That and like that. Here also. The moment approaches, warriors. The temple is realigned. It will be ready soon. I have discovered a solarite cache beneath the Zelnaga temple. If we can hold longer, I should be able to retrieve it. Begin the retrieval process, Karathus. We will hold the temple as long as we can. I need to crack a wall, crack a hole here that has appeared. So let's see where can we put those damn profiles. No, not not now.
Okay, the whore has appeared here also. Here, pretty good. They're attacking us from all, all over. But we are soon finished with the side objective. Okay, this seems like the biggest problem. It's a shame that I don't have air units. Deal with that. We 
need warp gates. I mean, this is just too many guardians. Can I hold until two million? Two billion? There's an achievement that you get for holding a, a, with 2.2 billion. did get goosebumps again you know from watching that video well I watched it uh, like at least 10 times but you know I like their tool and his voice okay so we, we didn't manage to hold against 2.2 billion I mean maybe with some better uh, building placement we could but I need to research that more in depth to be able to do that okay so let's continue. The most important thing is that we get all the solarite on the missions. We lost the Kala, and now Shakuris. Yet we still live, and that is no small gift. Shakuris is gone. It has become one with the Eternal Night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. 
Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone as Dark Templar against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. Congratulations, Artanis. At least the Nerezim are safe now. I hope we will be able to rescue our brethren on Ayr soon. We all hope that, Carax. Okay, we get more Solarite. So I will leave the Orbital Simulator. I will um, invest in starting supply and construction time. Actually, construction time would be pretty good for that mission. It's okay. Let's go to War Council. Artanis, Hierarch of the Dalam. That's me. The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us. Even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Oh, come on. Their homeworld has always been ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicator Zentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. Yeah, perhaps you should. I mean, come on. I mean, you should be better than that. You're Protoss. You're the most advanced race in the universe. At the moment, yes. So I didn't... We didn't get any units, only the structure, yes. So, we'll leave it to that. And I'm, I mean... And I mean, I mean, we are on the Spear of Adun, Rohana, aren't we? I mean, it is named in his honor. Or his spear, you know, but you get the point. Okay, so we fin finished for this episode, so thank you for watching as always, and see you in the next one.